I'm gonna be making a pinging slash like marker type thing. A good example of this is the pinging system in Fortnite. Bad game's an example, but you know, it's the easiest thing that everybody knows. But when you press your middle mouse button or whatever your ping button is, and a ping spawns and plays a sound for all the players in your team. That's what we're making, basically. I'm not seeing any tutorials on this, I don't know why. It is so simple to make. What you're gonna want to do first is go into replicate storage, make sure you put a remote event. Call this like, uh, buddy, what the flip? You're gonna want to make a remote event in replicate storage and call this uh, anything you want but i'm gonna call it spawn thingies event because the name of the ping that i'm using is called thingies because i don't know random name i made and then make sure inside of replicate storage you have a part you want to be the ping marker this will only work with parts like for instance my part here which looks like this this is the ping I'm using. I'm not going to put this into the, the pack because this is my own creation. But use any VFX you like. Look, you can put anything in here. Literally anything. But as long as a part and VFX, that's perfectly fine. Then put your thing into replicated storage. And that's fine. That's replicated storage done. Complete. Boom. Then you go into server script service. Add a script. And in here, you put local replicated storage I'm gonna skip this entire coding part and I'm just gonna let you guys see the scripts after they're made because there's no need in showing you all this just a waste of time okay all of the script is made look it's 25 lines 24 lines actually and all this is doing is basically this is finding the C frame position for your part and this is like spawning it into the workspace. This is giving it a delay of five seconds. Make sure that the part's anchored. Make sure your part is in replicated storage, which is what it's finding basically. And that's the script done. And now this is the last thing you need to do. It's going to start a players, start a player script, and bought a local script. Call this whatever you want. Doesn't really matter. And then, once again, I'm going to make the script and then get back to you. Here's the script. Basically, what this does is this checks for your input and makes sure as you press the Q button. Here's a sound ID. You can put this sound to whatever you want. This is basically like the ping marking sound. And this fires the event to show Roblox like, hey, spawn this part, please, using this event. This 10 seconds here is a cooldown change this to whatever you want it to be like for instance you spawn the part in and then 10 seconds later you can use this like ping again so it doesn't it like prevents you from spamming it basically here you can put the keybind to whatever you want i put q because it's the most used ping thing this is just all oh, this this is not important yeah that's pretty much you done all you gotta do now is press play and then you will be completed spawn in press q Boom, see? Marker. Spamming Q. Cat pink. It disappears. And after 10 seconds. Boom. You can ping again. This will work on all like all screens. Anybody in your lobby will be able to see this script. If you do like what I make and you like these creations, go drop me a follow on Roblox. That's all I ask for. You don't need to subscribe on youtube don't need to like the video none of that you can just follow me on roblox that's all you gotta do but yeah that's pretty much all it is it's just these like four things then you've got a script that pings and alerts all the players in your game